Well, you're in Rio, and I'm not there. I hurt my back doing ecological restoration on a big river, part of the Midwestern Missouri Mississippi River system. We have monarchs there. I've been worrying about what's happening in the Anthropocene, a new era about global warming and global warring, about infectious diseases, ocean acidification. And I've come up with a new metric that's uh, 10 kilometers cubed above sea level and 10 kilometers cubed below sea level. Mm -hmm. It's a way to enforce different kinds of actions uh, that we feel are important for our human survival. It's called the geocoded spatial transparent metric. And it, it, it follows the recommendations of the National Academy of Sciences thought on using the GIS and GPS systems uh, to help uh, understand the world around us, kindergarten through 12. It's a way to remember what we've done and to predict things into the future in terms of risk assessment and anomaly. I imagine this beginning in kindergarten and allowing people who want to deny the things that frighten us a way to look at those things and keep them in front of us and put them away like in a museum when we don't want to see them, like the emerging infectious diseases. We'd study the water cycle beginning in kindergarten and uh, be for our own local area. We would map the carbon cycle and local food and nutrition. Take advantage of the fact that you, as humans we are spatial thinkers. Uh, amounts of neurobiology support the fact that we are spatial thinking organisms that have put ourselves at risk uh, on our Earth planet by biodiversity extinction, extinction, land use changes, pollution, and overpopulation, soil loss, to name a few. Parts per million uh, 2.5 is a new a kind of way of measuring atmospheric uh, pollution. We have acidification of the oceans, changes in that have caused as uh, large amounts of phytoplankton to die worldwide. Uh, we also have pollution from things like the BP oil spill and Fukushima cesium-137. All vegetation matters, no matter whether it is in the tropics or in the desert, high on tundra mountains, as mangroves in the tropical Pacific and tropical Atlantic Ocean, Indian Oceans, mangroves, coral, sea grasses. We have evidence of climate change uh, globally, even in warm, even in caves, there has been changes in temperature. We can map our urban environments to help us have a more peaceful, happy, and hopeful existence. As human beings, uh, we're not very good at uh, remembering things that bother us and keeping them in front of us. The geocoded spatial transparent metric is meant to help us keep those things in front of us at 10 kilometers cubed, stacked on 10 kilometers cubed, the Anthropocene.